I am Ron. Underneath the gunnel is a great space to put mops and gaffs if we only had the proper things to put them on. What I'm going to show you today is how to make that space work for you. You'll end up, if you can imagine, two pieces of wood on the side of the boat under the gunnel and the things attached to it might look something like this or like this and these are just the things that are available at the hardware store so the configuration could look like this or it could look like this or two loops but this is the most likely configuration this is probably what you'll end up with. Now on my boat, I ended up with this. Don't feel intimidated. You don't have to build it like this. The concept we're putting forward here is under the gunnel, some hooks and things to stash things on to get them out of the way. Let's enjoy the video, have fun, Thanks for watching. We're in the garage and um, here's the part off the boat that I previously made for the port side, including the three little holes. This is sort of my idea of what it should look like on the starboard side. Three little holes we'll put in later. The wood, the scrap wood here is going to be changed over to teak. And I think that the way to do this is put a hole, a couple of holes that will hold this in place and then also be able to be removed and moved up and down to um, accommodate a different user. The screws to hold these down are number 10, three quarters of an inch. I have two drills. The slightly larger drill is going to work, uh, but the second drill hole, this will be a pilot hole these little washers, they're called finishing washers, they're stainless steel, and they'll add a little bling to this. Now when I take this out, I'll put another one in. Let's, let's take this out and match it up. This one comes out. This one goes in. A little trick. Another little down sail trick. So this was four feet and this was a cutoff. And if you can run it through the cutoff like that, you're in pretty good shape. And if you get stuck, this will kind of catch it and, and, and sort of like plane it off. And then if, um, for the ever so slight adjustments, this is just ever so slightly sticky, which is just fine, but I don't know if you can see the color of the aluminum sort of getting deposited on the piece of wood, it gets darker. And if you were to sand it right there, uh, that would be that would be the right spot. But it's good enough for me. So I'll put one of these in here, just like this. Just see if it pushes up and down. So after we get it in place, it'll be pushing up and down. Should we need it to be pushed up and down? 
Now this is just ever so slightly below the edge of of the channel. You can undoubtedly hear my fingernail on it. This one is the hook, and I'll just put this guy in. This, and you can hear that it's engaging it. And then we'll put the hook. And then we'll put this one. Well, it's got the teak in there now. The next step, I'm going to put little marks here. Go over to the drill press and put in these little, little ones and then the larger one and then I'll have it ready to put the screws in. This is X. Three little holes. Mark X. And in we go. So, these are all marked. Let's see what we can do here. Here's one that we'll put a three quarter inch, number 10 screw. And I'm gonna get a little finishing washer for show. I'm gonna put a three quarter inch, number 10 screw and a finishing washer together and begin the assembly process. Now, I do know that that the, the um, screws are slightly too long and my plan is going to be to uh, uh, just grind the back side off. We're almost done. I've got the uh, the inserts in the teak is in the little screws are kind of all blinged up with the dress up washers I decided just to put screws in this thing to hold it in place so I've drilled a little hole there and I've drilled a little hole here, a total of two. And so if someone wants to take it out to clean up the, the wood, they certainly can. I'm going to take this larger drill bit and open these up so that I can get the screw through the metal and have it engage the, the, the wood and sort of hold it up tight to the side. That should do it. Mm -hmm.